Hi everyone, a warm greetings. Welcome to the Data Science with R Programming training session. This is Bhaskar and we are going to see today the Data Science with R Programming basics. So let's begin the class. This will be the content for our day today where we look at what is data, the life cycle of data and we'll try to also break the myth of data science and the big data and analytics are the same. So there is a lot of commotion in the market where people tend to argue that data science and big data and analytics are same but we are trying to tell that it's just a myth. And then we'll move on to see what is data science in brief and then we'll see data science in action and we'll also learn what is R, the history of R and why should we use R, the R environment and uh, how can we use R. So that will be the contents for the day. So without any further ado, we'll get into the class. So what is data? Data is all about facts, statistics that are collected together for reference or analysis. But that's the old school definition we know. Today, there are 2.7 zettabytes of electronic data that exist in the world, which is so many zeros, right? So just to give you a perspective, this is equal to the storage of about 200 billion, just 200 billion HD movies. That's a lot of data that gets generated. And uh, this figure keeps changing. It, it is in the very incremental form. So th the new data is produced at an exponential rate and uh, uh, it, that's how uh, data is collected. Uh, as you know, it's collected from various sources, it's collected from your Android devices, your iPhone devices. From there up to the IoT, the new concept where uh, a lot of Internet of Things happen and uh, your data gets generated or uh, your data is collected from those devices as well. So, uh, Typically, just to give you a perspective of how powerful uh, the data science is involved, uh, the decoding of a human genome originally took about 10 years to process uh, in the, say, 10 years back and now it's, it's achieved in one week. So, a lot of data is being crunched uh, and uh, it's being processed now with a lot of speed so that uh, a lot of these human genome related projects are getting a lot of traction and that's the power of data science. But even before we can get into the topic of data science or data analytics or big data, let's see what will be the life cycle of data. There is a terminal which actually goes ahead and helps us with the transaction and that in turn will be stored in a database. So a typical example could be you walking up to a store, a supermarket, you buying some stuff and you are going to the billing counter and you are uh, being billed for those items that you bought and that's a transaction which gets stored in the database of that particular supermarkets. Then those collection of databases are combined together to form something called as a data mart. So a typical example could be your LMRA where you have a lot of items stored sequentially or however you, you would want them to but all those data are available to you at any point in time that's data mart so data mart a collection of data marts would be a data warehouse where uh, you are uh, combining similar data marts that are together uh, putting into a data warehouse then data warehouse gives you reports the visualization part and from there you can either take those reports crunch them using data science or big data analytics however you would want to take them and work with them but uh, this typical example is uh, there as in it's evolved over the years so this is how a life cycle of data would have been looking without data science or without the involvement that we have seen. But this is how the data would be seen now or at least from now on. So there will be data and the data will be generated from a lot of places, a lot of places like in terminals and all those. 
and uh, that data will be either crunched, integrated, disintegrated using data science or there will be a lot of focus that will be given to the data and uh, the data will be interpreted in different ways using visualization techniques using big data and analytics. So having understood this, now let's go on to break this myth of data science, big data, analytics, all are the same. So what's analytics? Analytics is the discovery, interpretation and communication of meaningful patterns in data. So that's analytics. It's just a small part where you can go ahead and discover or interpret or communicate between those patterns that are available in your data. Say you go ahead and take for example a school record of a student, it would have different patterns in it. Say for example those students who scored marks from 90 to 100 and those students who didn't even score 35 marks which would be the minimum percentage of mark for passing that particular subject. So these are different patterns that you can see in a normal data and doing some analysis about them or discovering them, interpreting them and communicating with those patterns as you call it in a data science language is called analytics. Moving on to big data, big data is an extremely large sets of data that are analyzed computationally to reveal patterns, trends, associations and this would in turn help the business organizations to take their business in a very strategic way or to make better decisions. Say 10, 15 years before there were a lot of conglomerates which were actually having lots of data with them but still if you go ahead and look at their business decisions they would have taken it using their gut feeling or using their experience or using the market trends that's how they would have done it but uh, big data has become an um, integral part of these businesses now where it helps them take better decisions, better make better strategic business moves and all of it is possible with this extremely large set of data sets that is available. So typically we are talking about tons and tons of data or rather you should call bytes and bytes of data and uh, these bytes and bytes of data uh, revealing some patterns, trends, associations and uh, they are making a big impact now. Then we move on to data science. Data science is itself, it's called as a field and uh, that comprises of everything that, that is related to data cleansing, preparation and analysis by which we could extract knowledge in various forms, be it structured or unstructured. So just to put that in a perspective, you should have logged into your Amazon profile recently. For those of you who are in the age of e-commerce, you know that shopping becomes easy during a um, festival season because you are just buying things in a click of a mouse or click of a button. And if you would have noticed over the period of time, uh, Amazon or Flipkart or Snapdeal, all these e-commerce giants, they keep sending you curated information about those items that you viewed and related items and uh, their price range, how they are fluctuating and uh, how much offer is available for you to go ahead and make a purchase. And all of this is possible combining this analytics with data and with the help of data science. So data science is by itself, I would call it as a framework where you can process even the unstructured data that is available or the structured data that is available as in the example I gave you and uh, get them to know that data and make some knowledge extraction out of it that's data science for you. So to put it in a nutshell I've taken this diagram and it's there so if you see there is a process of data mining where you go ahead and collect data you you go ahead and do look into your data for some patterns then there is analytics where you apply interpretation or uh, you discover patterns and you try to talk between them and see what test you can take and there is data analysis 
where you go ahead and interpret that particular data that you have taken using data mining into different forms and all that put together is called data science and uh, hope now you understand data science big data and analytics are not all the same and they have their own different functionalities so data science just to give you data science in a brief way uh, we just check 